to have a great relationship, they need to be a high level of respect and accountability on the both partners. Nothing just work automatically. It has to be fair to grow. My name is Benis Monde, also known as Dr. Benis Moore, your relationship therapist and coach. Here are the six keys for a great relationship. One, friendship. Try to be your partner's best friend. No matter what happened, be a friend first and a lover later. A friend can condole, a friend can forgive, a friend can reason with, a friend can give a shoulder to lean on. So be a friend to your partner and a lover later. Two, trust. The key element to any relationship is trust. So before starting this beautiful journey of a relationship with your spouse, learn to trust your spouse in any circumstances. Learn to trust your spouse in any circumstances. Three, understanding. Try to figure out each other's differences. There is going to be a lot of differences because you were not given birth by the same parents. But it's a mutual compromise and sacrifice that makes the relationship beautiful. For communication, try to talk and convey your message to your spouse. Let your spouse know about how good or bad your day was, along with reminding them of how you feel about them. When you understand your spouse, you will be able to care for your spouse. So understanding matters in a relationship. Number five, honesty. Learn to be truthful. Be truthful. Learn to be truthful. There is a saying like, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. So be truthful. Truth actually strengthen trust in a relationship. Never lie or hide things in fear that your partner would not understand. Give your partner a chance to understand you. Be honest. Honesty strengthens trust in a relationship. So give your partner a chance to understand you. Six, freedom. Love is freedom. Love is peace. Give your partner space and freedom to decide for themselves. Don't take away this personal space for your spouse. If you do that, that means you are not working on the right path to build your relationship because it won't go well. So let your partner have his or her personal space to decide what to do with it or how to enjoy this personal space. When you have practiced all the above mentioned, then just trust God and see how beautiful your relationship will be. If this is your first time here, please kindly hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. Thank you.